So a couple of days ago, I cut up my Amex Kobo card, or as some might call it, the best credit card in Canada. Now, why did I do that? Simple, it was an Amex. I rarely get groceries from grocery stores that take Amex. Loblaws, Costco, TNT, and on top of that, with the introduction of the Rogers MasterCard, it really doesn't make sense to keep paying the monthly fee to keep my Amex Kobo card. But that being said, the Amex Kobo card has good value. It has all the right multipliers in all the right categories. For example, groceries and the restaurants and I'm gonna be honest, if the Amex Kobo card wasn't an Amex, I would still be rocking that card whenever I go out. Which got me thinking, is there another credit card that isn't Amex that provides almost the same value? I mean, a lot of my viewers are already suggesting this card under my comments section. The MBNA Rewards World Elite MasterCard. And if you didn't already know, MBNA is the MasterCard credit card division of TD Bank. And they offer a wide selection of MasterCards online. And yes, this video will be talking about a World Elite MasterCard. And unfortunately, as with a lot of World Elite MasterCards, the minimum income requirement is $80,000. Which kinda sucks cause it puts it out of reach for a lot of Canadians. Visa Infinite on the other hand, the prestige line of Visa only requires like $60,000. Okay, for this card, let's look at the promotional offer. Again, I don't chase promotions but some people do so let's check it out. So 20k points after you make $2,000 in purchases with this card in the first 90 days. They say it's worth about $165 in cash back value. In reality, you'll get closer to $200 in value, which we'll talk about later. And the star is looking kind of sad. We're going to change the batteries. Oh god. Why is it so hard? Ugh, all right. There you go. All right. Uh, 10k bonus points once you enroll in paperless e-statements, so that's a freebie. So the bonus rewards rounds up to about 30,000 points, so about $300. That's a pretty nice introductory bonus. For even more bonus, go to Great Canadian Rebates to apply and get up to $80 more. This is not a sponsored video, but if Great Canadian Rebates wants to sponsor me, I'll be happy to represent. The fees are $120 annually, which is pretty standard for a World Elite MasterCard. Let's see the benefits. Five points per dollar spent on eligible restaurants, groceries, digital media, membership, and household utilities up to $50,000 spent. And if I'm not mistaken, digital media, membership, and household utilities kind of sound like recurring bills. Now, before we decide if this is good value, we have to understand how the reward system works for MBNA. Cause five points per dollar might sound a lot, but if each point is worthless, it doesn't matter what the multipliers are. So we are looking at one cent per point if redeemed for travel and 0.99 cents per point if redeemed for e-gift cards. Honestly, I really don't like it when all these loyalty programs puts more redemption value on travel. Cause come on, not all of us can travel all the time. Cause the average vacation time in Canada for companies is like 2 weeks. And even then, not all of us gets the time to travel. So I really like it when the e-gift cards for MBNA has the same redemption value as travel. Or very close redemption value. You know what, let's look into it. So as you can see here, the redemption value for e-gift cards is actually all over the place. But honestly, it's pretty close to 1 cent per point. You know what? For Xbox, you're actually getting closer to 1.05 cents per point. That's better than redeeming for travel. Based on what I'm seeing, I like the MBNA reward system. You're getting pretty good value for your points if you exchange it for e-gift cards. Like, you're not restricted to travel, like many other reward systems. So back to the rewards. So that 5 points per dollar is about 5% rewards, which puts this card above the likes of Scotia Visa Infinite Cashback, which only offers 4 percent cashback for groceries and recurring bills. And very similar to the Scotiabank Gold Amex. But then again, that's an Amex card. I don't know about you, but I always tax the benefits of an Amex card just a little bit. Yes, just because it's an Amex and they're not accepted everywhere. Alright, next benefit. You get a birthday bonus of 10% of the total number of points earned throughout the year. Up to a maximum of 15,000 points. So 15,000 points, so 150,000 points a year where you still get the full 10% benefits. 150,000 points is like $30,000 in 
spendings if you always use the 5 times rewards categories. And that's a lot to be spending per year. Which means most people will fully utilize the 10% birthday bonus. So with the birthday bonus, we're talking about up to 5.5% rewards, not just 5%. Alright, let's take a look at some of the additional benefits, like insurance. I mean, it's got all the standard insurance packages you would expect for a World Elite MasterCard. Vehicle rental insurance, mobile insurance, flight delays, and lost baggages. Now, price protection service is something I never used before. Basically, it's saying that if you purchase an eligible item with your card and find the same product advertised at a lower price in 60 days, you'll get refunded the difference. So like, can you shop Black Friday earlier? Can Christmas come early? What I'm trying to ask is, can you buy a TV for full price and a month later Black Friday hits and get a full refund? Or not full refund, but the refund for the difference in price. Cause if you can do that, that'll be pretty sick. I don't know man, somebody use this benefit, let me know in the comments down below. One thing I do have to mention though, is that the recurring bills category is becoming more important due to Chexy, where you can pay your rent through your credit card which acts like a recurring bill. Yes, Chexy charges 1.75%. But Scotia Visa Infinite Cashback offers 4% for the recurring bills, which means you're getting a 2.25% return on rent. Unfortunately, that doesn't work with the MBNA Rewards World Elite, cause they've never specifically mentioned recurring bills for their 5 points per dollar spent category. Cause it's not actually recurring bills, it's digital media, membership, and household utilities which includes a lot of recurring bills but not all. Now a major complaint from a lot of people online is that you can't include this card on Google Wallet. And obviously with Google Wallet and Apple Pay it just makes everything so much simpler when you're paying for stuff. So I get it. The fact that this card cannot go into Google Wallet, that's a little bit disappointing. But you know what, in conclusion, I actually really like this card. It's got great cashback in the right categories. So at the end of the day, this is certainly one of the top cards in Canada. And and it's a MasterCard, it's accepted basically everywhere, which is a major plus. And if you didn't know, MasterCard considers Walmart Superstores as grocery stores. So 5.5% return at Walmart Superstores. So yeah, that's it for today. If you learned something from this video, please consider a like and subscribe. And also, feel free to comment down below on what you think I should do next. I do try to read all the comments and reply to all of them. What you say doesn't even make sense, please get your facts straight and math correct before for posting this kind of video? <laughs> Bro, I was only trying to help. <laughs> Again, I make financial tips for Canadians in my long-form content and financial comedy in my shorts. Thank you all, and I'll see you next time.